Let's talk about groups and studio projects. An example of how we can utilize groups on a studio project is for example, we want to share drawings with a sub from an existing project and we have a few folders that we don't want the sub to have access to. So we can go to project settings, add, I'm gonna use my personal email as the sub. Then I'm gonna go to permissions. I'm gonna go to groups. I'm gonna create a new group. I'm gonna call it sub, okay. Click on the group. I'm gonna add my email that I'm using as the sub. Then we're gonna to go to folder permissions. I'm gonna add the sub group. So here on the drop down menu, I'm gonna give the sub access just to the latest revision, which is this one, read. And everything else is gonna be hidden. So the sub only has access to this one folder which contains the latest revisions. So from here, we can click apply, okay. Now, after we set the folder permissions, now we can go to invite and I'm gonna invite that sub in this case, click okay. Now, once the sub gets the email invitation, you open up the email, then you say accept invitation. You can either open it up in review or you can open it up in drawings web. So you open up review, say allow. Now I just logged in as the sub. So I'm gonna open up the project that I was invited to. And I was only invited to this one folder that contains the latest revision. Now, if I go back and log in as the project owner, you see that for the same project, I have access to all three folders. So that's how you can share drawing with a sub without giving them access to all your folders.